Look up at the night sky. That glowing circle you've seen all your life, the moon, feels permanent, calm and almost eternal. But its birth was anything but peaceful. In fact, the moon was born from one of the most violent events in Earth's history. And without it, Earth as we know it might not even exist. Welcome to Lab 360, it's time to explore. Let's rewind the clock back to about 4.5 billion years ago. The solar system was still young. Planets were forming, crashing into each other, reshaping themselves again and again. Early Earth was a hot, chaotic world, covered in magma, constantly bombarded by space debris. And then, disaster struck. A Mars-sized object, often called Thea, slammed into the young Earth. This wasn't a gentle collision. It was a planetary-scale impact, so powerful that it tore chunks of Earth's outer layers into space. Rock, dust, and molten material exploded outward, forming a massive debris cloud orbiting our planet. Over time, gravity did what it does best. That debris slowly clumped together. Bit by bit, rock by rock, and eventually, the moon was born. This explanation is known as the giant impact hypothesis, and it's the most widely accepted theory of how the moon formed. Scientists believe this is why the moon's composition is so similar to Earth's, because it's literally made from Earth itself. But the moon isn't just a cosmic souvenir. It's a guardian. Stability. Earth doesn't spin perfectly upright. It tilts on its axis, and that tilt is what gives us seasons. But without the moon, that tilt would wobble wildly over time, swinging from extreme angles to almost none at all. That would mean chaotic climate shifts. Ice ages followed by intense heat. Oceans freezing. Then boiling. The moon acts like a stabilizing anchor, keeping Earth's tilt steady and our climate relatively predictable for billions of years. Time and Tides The moon's gravity pulls on Earth's oceans, creating tides. Those tides don't just move water, they move energy. They helped mix nutrients in early oceans and may have played a crucial role in the development of life. Some scientists believe tidal pools, regularly filled and emptied by the moon, were the perfect environments for the first complex molecules to form. So no moon means no tides, so possibly no life. Slowing Earth down. Early Earth spun much faster than it does today. Days were as short as six hours long. The moon's gravitational pull has been slowly breaking Earth's rotation over billions of years, giving us longer days and more stable biological rhythms. So our 24-hour day exists partly because of the moon. And there's more. The moon also acts as a shield. Its gravity captures or deflects some asteroids that might otherwise head straight for Earth. While it's not a perfect defense system, it has reduced the number of catastrophic impacts over time. Interestingly, the moon is slowly drifting away from Earth, about 3.8 centimeters every year. That means billions of years from now, things will change again. Days will grow longer. Tides weaker. But for now, the Earth-Moon relationship is almost perfectly balanced. A cosmic partnership formed by destruction, that turned into stability. So the next time you see the moon hanging quietly in the sky, remember that it was born from chaos, it shaped our oceans, it stabilized our planet and without it, Earth might never have become a home for life. Are you amazed by the significant importance of our moon? Share your thoughts in the comments section below. And be sure to subscribe to the channel for the latest UFO sightings and revelations in space exploration. Hit the bell icon to stay updated, and let's continue to explore together.